Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2017 Tyco World Cup. We are here for the group stage. I am joined with Jai. I am Tasha. And how are you, Jay? I am doing great and looking forward to a great Tiger World Cup. Oh, definitely the same here. And our first match is actually fairly soon underway. Uh, we're going to be seeing Poland versus China to start off with today. We actually have all the players already in the room. We have Akrith, Creepy Duck, and Jamu for Poland, and Sacrifice, Unsigned Int, and Suika for China. So, oh yes, I'm sure I'm sure we're in for quite a match. Yeah, just talking a little bit about the players though. Uh, we were looking at the lists a little bit earlier, and uh, we ex kind of expect we're gonna like maybe see some nomad double time from uh, Poland. What would you think we should we were expecting to see from China, being the low seed in this situation? Well, being the low seed, probably going for the nomads would be more safe for picks. I mean, there is still, of course, a responsibility response, which is the free mod, the easy three point eight. I feel like any teams that might feel a bit more comfortable with higher scroll spe uh, higher scroll speeds may go for Mud Pie as well, as it is a slightly easier one six map compared to some of the stuff that you see in the no mod pool. We'll have to see though. It depends on just how comfortable the players are with these maps, because these are quite a bit more difficult compared to last year's group stage maps. For anyone that was not around for the map pool showcase, uh, you guys are in for a treat. The average of the group stage in terms of star rating has jumped up to about six stars. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Just to put that in perspective, we have a map in the group stage that's 7.20 stars. And while that map is a little bit under, like a little bit overrated, uh, it's still quite a difficult map for group it, stage. Like it's something you'd expect from like a semifinals. But this is great. It's a new Taiko World Cup. It's a new scoring system, and the group stage is just hopefully not going to be just pure accuracy wars. Oh well, yeah, especially with how like it is in Score V2. I mean, it, it kind of is a bit more about accuracy now, but you're going to see a lot more misses. Misses are a little bit less impactful than they were with Score V1. And with Score V2, misses still hurt a little bit, but it's more about your accuracy than it is about just like holding your combo. Yes, it's not just uh, it's not just full combo consistency that matters now. It's more just keeping consistent with the accuracy in general. It's a very interesting scoring system. Uh, I quite like it. I think it's very good for tournament play, and it's going to be really interesting to see what teams strive and what teams benefit from the new system compared to a previous scoring system. One place that we may see a lot of. Uh differences from different teams is on the changes to finishers, especially as finishers now award, what is it, I think it's three times the points now compared to two times from before? Uh, it's three to ten depending on how many finishers are in the map, I believe. Yeah. And overall just having much more impact than they had before, so you really have to hit those finishers. So for certain playstyles that might be hard, uh, default playstyle and for index finger, finger playstyle that is a bit more challenging than uh, DDKK playstyles. Oh but, but with the scoring system, it's not just finishes. Every single element for Taiko is important now. Sliders have to hit them. Spinners, you've got to complete them. Yep, especially considering if you do not hit uh, spinners or the sl uh, sliders anymore, you will actually break combo. Um, just quickly going back to the um, the Maple Star Rain thing with 6.07. Uh, for referencing, last year the uh, it went up by 1.54 stars, so it's ridiculously harder now. Yeah, quite a bit of a jump. Just a small one. Yeah, there was oh, just, a, just a little. There was plenty of memes going around all throughout the Taiko Discord, and there was even one that was posted on Reddit, just of people that are like, "Well, top seed's doing fine, but then like mid seed is just like uh, half and half, and then low seed's like crying in a corner." Now, of course, the greatest is 1-6, one, 1-6, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six. and did I mention 1-6? Oh yeah, there is so much 1-6 in these pools. Okay, it speaking looks like of, we're I actually really getting... Hope we, yeah, speaking of 1-6, I really hope we see dragons at some point. Yeah, it actually looks like we are getting into the warm-up right now, uh, starting with Hellblade's Grief and Malice. Map from Sand mm -hmm. and Backfire. Oh, uh, this, this is a great collaboration map. 
And here we go. I feel like we're probably gonna see a little bit harder warm up maps as well going into the group stage just because of how much the pools have changed. Normally, when uh, you go into the group stage, like you won't see insanely difficult like warm up maps, but I think that's gonna change this time around. I I'm pretty sure we'll still see our crazy share of uh, main warm ups. Well, I mean, that's that's a given, though. I mean, there's certain teams that do that every year. I mean, the United States, for example, are pretty much guaranteed to be at least one Aussie map. Speaking of, Tasha, are yeah. we going to see any Canada da 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 this year? Uh, good question. I don't know yet. Can't wait to find out. Here's hoping, here's hoping. Maybe double time does, who knows. So something uh, interesting to keep in mind here is that Poland is actually the mid-seeded team here, with China being the low-seeded team, and China is actually winning out on accuracy, at least on this particular warm-up map. It is just a warm-up, but I'm very surprised. It, is, it is a fairly good indicator. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's a, it's a fairly good indicator as to like how teams are going to perform, especially considering this is a little bit easier than what you would expect from the map pool. Yeah, as I was gonna say, I'm very surprised at accuracy right now. He's been shown in previous World Cups to be a very accurate player. Sounds like accurate is having ac problems today. And the puns begin, yeah. It did not take long. Oh, well, it always happens, you know it. Detroit will be proud of you. Yeah, actually, uh, accurate is having quite a bit of issues holding combo as well. Jamu and Creepy Duck, though, just kind of destroying the song right now. Suika as well. Unsigned ink. Oh, Suika dropping. Unsigned ink. Still holding there, so. Only three players actually above 500 combo right now. One thing I, I also say is that we'll probably see a lot more uh, warm-ups that have finishers in them just because a lot of players are probably going to want to make sure they're ready to hit finishers, especially more complex ones or more difficult ones. How often do you think we'll see warm-ups with finisher streams in them though? Uh, I guess that really depends on how insane the players want the maps to get for warm-up. There are some maps that are in the pool, for example, that have uh, finisher streams, though they're usually in 1-3 snap. Yeah, you do have to remember, even though it is meant to be a warm-up map, I'm very confident in saying that all of these players are already warmed up. This is the point where they show their individual strengths, or they just make fun of the other team with a troll map. I'm hoping that Akrith uh, ends up picking up here, because this is definitely uncharacteristic of them. They are usually a much higher accuracy player than this. Creepy Duck, however, is still just dominating on accuracy. Alright, and that actually concludes the first warm-up. Uh, so, I'm going to take this moment to talk a little bit about Score V2. So with score V2 on no mod, the maximum score you can get is 1 million points plus bonus points from sliders or drum rolls. So you will often see scores that are fairly close compared to last year. However, uh, closer differences also mean a lot more now. Just because of that score cap. It's all, it's all for tension. Of course, there's also mods that can be applied on certain maps too. So like Hard Rock and Hidden will apply a point, uh, 1.06 modifier and Double Time is a 1.12 modifier. And I think there's another interesting thing we should mention is that free mod works very differently from other tournaments that I've ever seen where you actually have a select list of free mods. Ironically, it's not exactly free mod, but... Yeah, it's kind of like a restricted mod pool now. 
like the first you have one map that has the ability to play hard rock you have one that has like the ability to play hidden or hard rock then you have like one that's like hidden hidden hard rock it, it's uh quite a bit different than it was last year for the free mod pool Right now, we are currently waiting for the players to decide upon their next warm up and also for China's third player to come back in. Why are they saying Rush B? This isn't a CSGO tournament. Come on, guys. Uh, they Rush B, but they're in Group H. That was their first mistake. Um, speaking of, I think it is also worth mentioning that alongside this match we do have Hong Kong vs Malaysia playing. So I will try and keep you guys up to date on how that one's going. Thanks, and I feel it's worth mentioning that now because they've actually finished both their warm-ups. Okay, so while we're waiting for warm-ups here, uh, oh. Dai, what would you say that we're going to end up seeing map-wise? Uh, map like, what maps would you expect to see from the Nomad? mod? What would you expect to see from Ooh. the Let's take some right. here. Alright, let's 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 think about things. Alright, so, as we've seen by Poland, they have quite the DT lineup. Though the DT pool itself, in general, I feel, is very bannable. But, let's not forget that the map Slit also exists. So I have a feeling Slit is going. Slit is... Just just in any match in general, I just think Slit is going. I'll, I'll just say it this way. Unless you're like a very, very good slow scroll speed hidden player, you just you just hate that map. And I'll say this just for Ono. The maps like that are the reason I'm like Ono should never be allowed to pick hidden. But it's it's also great for it. It's also great for a turn and play map. Because it's it's not just like the usual type of hidden where it's like you just have like higher scroll speed and it's a lot easier to read. It is actually a fairly challenging map to read. Just quickly, we do actually have our first hit of bands. Malaysia banned out dragons, no surprise. And Hong Kong banned out Distorv. Oh, oh interesting. Distorv is a in my opinion a very easy free mod. Dragons, on the other hand, is no surprise. There has been much talk about why this map is even in the pool. I can actually kind of understand why people might consider banning Storm, especially teams that might be afraid the other team is going to be able to play Hard Rock on it. Mod play on Storm is actually fairly difficult with the slider velocity changes that are in that map. Yeah, I don't know about you in particular, but there's this one specific... Uh, it's like a ninja slider and... Oh man, that is horrible. And because slide is very combo now, it's just it just makes it a whole lot worse. Yeah, you actually have to memorize where that slider is. If you're not if you're not expecting that slider, you will miss. How how would that be if like a team ended up losing because they didn't hit like one player didn't hit that slider? That would feel so terrible. Don't jinx it. Oh, now it's definitely gonna happen. Just just do wait. Alright, so we are still waiting for China to figure out the issues with their third player and for them to select their warm up. Wow, that was fast. Hong Kong won the first pick, which was the lot of this. So that, that was a double time uh, pick. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hong Kong has some very, very strong DT players. And very accurate ones too at that. Yeah, from a team like Hong Kong, that's not a surprise at all. So anyway, talking a bit more about the maps that I would expect to see, I would expect to see, uh, at least in terms of from players that can do high scroll speed, 
I would expect to see maybe Mud Pie and Dynamite, as the Hard Rock pool is a fairly tame compared to the rest of the pool in terms of uh, pattern complexity, though the scroll speed is quite fast. Uh, other than that, I would definitely expect to see responsibility response from both weak and strong teams alike, as it is quite a good pick. Darewald might be also a possible pick, as while it is streamy, it is not very fast BPM wise compared to some of the other maps, such as like Venetian Snares that has a 300 like, BPM like equivalent starting. Oh dear. Tasha, I believe we are swapping matches. Alright, yeah, so we oh, are nice. going to be swapping to Hong Kong versus Malaysia for the time being. Yeah, so just to recon uh, just to catch everyone up again, the current score for this one is one out of Hong Kong. Oh, and just looking up at the Hong Kong lineup now, I am already feeling.